First up, General Motors paying the price for a recall scandal. Marcus. Yes, Mark. Hi there, everyone. Uh, the world's second biggest car maker had a rough start to the year, even as uh, General Motors posted stronger sales between January and March this, this Thursday. Its profits fell by more than 80 percent. The biggest contributor was a $1.3 billion charge for a series of controversial recalls. Delano D'Souza has more details. It's GM's worst financial performance in over four years. The company's first quarter profit tumbled 86% to $125 million. Profits were hit after the automaker paid $1.3 billion for recalling 7 million vehicles globally. Recalls related to faulty ignition switches is the biggest crisis the company has seen since emerging from bankruptcy protection. They've also overshadowed CEO Mary Barra's first quarter at the helm. The company admitted knowing about problems with ignition switches for over a decade. Earlier this month, Mary Barra testified before the U.S. Congress. She promised a new company that would focus on safety. But Barra has a tough road ahead. She needs to fix GM's image while steering the company back to profitability. Meanwhile, General Motors has signaled it could be subjected to more recall-related charges throughout the year. They are trying to avoid hefty criminal fines Toyota paid to the U.S. Justice Department for misleading the public. This week, GM returned to bankruptcy court. They argued that claims over ignition switches should be against the old, bankrupt GM and not the new company.